Welcome back to another video. In uh, today's video, we are going to tackle my overheating issues. If you guys, uh, well, I've never showed it actually on my previous videos, but uh, if you guys see in this upcoming videos, you will see that I do, uh, I'm driving, right, I'm racing, and I actually go and turn the AC, uh, well, not the AC, I turn the heater on to try to extract the heat from the inside of the car because I've been having overheating issues. The overheating issues that started happening at Road Atlanta for Global Time Attack back in May. Uh, I still had the stock radiator. I thought that it was going to be the stock radiator. Um, so I got a new radiator. I did get the uh, Koya Red radiator. I got that installed. Um, I put coolant because according to Koyo, if you can focus right here, why are you not focus, hey? According to Koyo, um, uh, you don't need like distilled water or anything like that. Just run straight coolant. But still, it is giving me um, problems. So I got like Koyo Rad. I got a uh, Mishimoto uh, thermostat. Got some Mishimoto hoses, and um, still I'm getting overheating issues. Uh, so today I'm going to tackle uh, a couple things. Um, I'm gonna go run distilled water, straight distilled water with a little bit of water wetter to uh, get that better, um, you know. Uh, water is actually, uh, holds heat less than, um, than uh, coolant, right? The coolant is basically so it doesn't freeze uh, for winter time, so. But water is actually even safer for the track if you actually um, throw some water on the ground. So coolant is very, very slippery. Uh, also, because, right, I only have this much of the intercooler. The intercooler goes, like, all the way to, like, up here, right? Um, it only is only grabbing this much air, so I'm going to do what the pairing uh, kind of shows you. They do have, like, a template to, like, cut around here. I'm going to cut all the way to the top here. Uh, I've also learned in the, um, on my travels here, right, uh, that... I might be getting all this air here, right? But because I have a hoot scoop, there's creating some kind of pressure and it's not letting heat escape, right? So I'm trying to figure out what to do with this hoot scoop. Um, I really can't do anything because they don't sell like hoot scoop deletes, but I'm going to try to do something and I'm going to um, uh, probably going to buy some hoot vents and I'm going to get those vents um, put on there too. So right now I'm going to do is going to cut this up. I have some exacto knife. I'm just going to cut it through the line right here. I'm going to go all the way to the top here. I have some uh, aluminum composite coming up. I want to kind of like block this right here, right? Including this bottom part right here and kind of force the air to just be right here, right? We're just right in the intercooler. So no air goes through here and no air goes through there. Every air that is trapped is going to go through here all the way to the back of the um, radiator, well, the AC um, little radiator, whatever that thing is, it's on the way. That is something else that I'm going to be doing. I want to delete the AC. I know you guys are like, oh my god, but, you know, you're going to have no AC. Screw it, man. Uh, this is a race car, man. Uh, so, no AC, no little AC whatever thing is in the way, so it's only going to be intercooler and radiator. So hopefully this helps with my uh, cooling issues. We got two weeks before I go to Royal Atlanta and it's going to be nice and hot so I'm going to do this as a test. Also hood vents, I got to actually still find the right hood vents and then buy them up and um, yeah let's uh, let's let's tackle this um, let's tackle this and see how it, how it goes. I do have my little exacto knife um, basically I've you know I've seen uh, you guys seen my WX channel do the same thing I don't Pretty sure he's all the way to the top over here. He had it all like around in the middle, and then he went all the way to the top. So um, using exacto knife, Perrin does say to use exacto knife, do it little by little instead of um, instead of a Dremel, because the Dremel can um, like burn your plastic. So it's kind of like do it little by little. I'm gonna go like this little by little. Uh, this little corner right here, I try to round it out, but I'm just gonna cut straight, and then I'm gonna try to round it with a uh, little bit of sandpaper. So. I'm going to go through this line right here, right there, and then I'm going to go straight all the way into down there and hopefully expose the whole intercooler because uh, intercooler is like halfway covered, right?
Okay, so it is completely cut now. It's freaking massive in there. And that's going to be tons of air is going to come in. At least half of the intercooler is going to get some air. Uh, now I wish that I didn't had like the little print logo a little bit higher. Um, so I don't know what's going to happen with that. I'll just probably just leave it like that for now. Um, all I got to do now is just kind of find some sandpaper and kind of sand it just a little here to smooth it out make it nice and straight it is pretty straight just maybe not here but it's barely noticeable well, you can barely notice so right here is a little bit too or that's just a little bit plastic piece a little hair there um shave that off too and then um pretty much that's uh that's that's pretty much it uh to be honest i have no idea what i'm gonna do now um i do have to uh, figured out the hood vents and um, I need to go online find uh, correct hood vents sizes and um, kind of see where I want to put those hood vents on there because I need to have a way to have heat come out you know because air comes through here and then you don't want all the heat kind of be trapped inside here because uh, also with the big splitter on the bottom it also traps heat uh, so you want a way for heat to kind of extract out. So I'll, I'll go online, find some hood vents, uh, order them, and, you know, cut away and get that done. The next day. It's pretty sunny today. Uh, all right, we're on the uh, next day trying to get this, all this overheating issues that we have on my car. Um, took the radiator out. Uh, radiator is all out and as you guys see here this is all gone so the AC is out uh, the little condenser is out so the compressor is out the lines is out there's only one line that I have left is that little thin line it goes like in there it's like really thin um, not entirely sure if I can pull it out with ease or I'm just gonna end up like cutting it or something or just leave it there for now I'm just gonna leave it there for now uh, it's really not on the way the other big line um, which is this this line and the other uh, I don't know where I put it at uh, they're pretty thick and it's kind of on the way over there so uh, radiator is right there which I'm gonna put it right back here and I got a bunch of distilled water right there so that is something that um, gonna do today I ordered some uh, hood vents and that's coming in in a little bit or whenever it comes in and then I'll show you guys what we have uh, right now let's put the radiator back in a little bit of flush because that's all the coolant right over there a little bit of flush and put some distilled water and some water wetter and then um, go from there um, I think you guys saw already the big cutout so uh it's a uh, it's kind of like a messy job doing uh radiator stuff you know because you take one hose out it leaks a little bit it's all over your freaking body uh it looks a little bit on the floor same thing with these hoses over here this hose over here the hose on the bottom everything kind of leaks but yeah uh it's it's a little bit of messy especially with the when it's cool it's like you know it's like slippery uh so yeah so let's get the uh get the radiator back in and see what we go from there okay I got everything uh, put right back in into place uh, so radiator is in radio is installed no AC no condenser in between so now you can see it you know so now it's gonna get take um, air directly from the grill into there um, with the bumper cut out you got a little bit more exposure so hopefully um it it's more um gets colder a little bit i'm still uh burping it uh i'm letting it cool down for now uh, i'm gonna do it like probably like two more times you know uh put some more water in there burp it a couple of times leave it running for a little bit let it cool down and do it again uh if you guys ever need to do like radiator stuff buy one of those that's like a lifesaver you can't do can't do this without that so 
get one of those all right get one of those funnels you know what i'll leave the link in the description below it's really cheap it's like 15 20 dollars or something like that and it's it it freaking works amazing so right now i'm just gonna let it uh cool down and then come back later do this uh really don't have really much uh left uh my order of my little vents are coming so just stay tuned for that it's um i'm just gonna wait for it to come and when it comes i'll just keep recording and then time to cut out hood if i end up doing it depends if the uh hoot louvers are good you know if they're crappy um then i'll probably discard them i don't know they're pretty cheap so but you guys see in a little bit so see you in a little bit a few moments later it's been uh probably like a week from now from my uh, last little clip there but uh i got my hood louvers on or however you want to call it hood vents whatever you want to call it um and these are the ones right uh you guys could see if you guys could see it um they're plastic and it's um they're actually pretty good material. Sorry for all the bug noise in these trees. I guess I got some cicadas out here. But uh, right here you see the uh, hood louver. Or the hood vent, right? Um, this is actually a boat louver. Oh my god. This is actually a uh, louver for boats. And... Um, uh, one of my buddies told me because I was about to buy like like car ones um, and two of these uh, from other companies that make it for the cars are 150 or over 100 bucks this right here cost me 15 bucks just one 15 bucks and this is uh, the cutout right this is the back part of it the cutout is um, uh, it's gonna be like 12 inches long and uh, three and a half uh, width. Uh, so I bought two. Actually, I bought four of these, but I'm only gonna be using two. So four of these actually cost me under 50 or around 50 bucks from eBay. So I'll leave a description. Um, I'll leave a link on the description below for the um, for the louvers. And um, yeah, it's gonna go right into my car. So that's kind of how I want it to be, um, somewhere around there, and um, yeah, so what I'll do is I'm going to start taping this up, the, uh, the whole hood where the area is going to be at. I need to make sure that I all do all my measurements correctly, and then we're gonna start cutting or well, actually before we do this so I actually trace the hoot louver on the bottom part the cutout part and then I did a little template with cardboard box so this is basically my template when I do my tape I'm gonna put it on top trace it over and that's it but I have to make sure that all my measurements are perfect perfect so give me one second let me tape all this up start measuring and cutting in a little bit okay this took like the longest time to measure up uh really 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 good uh from here to here here there's the body line is right here there um and then also right here you get you, you can see there's like a little pink line so i use the pink first to like try to measure out everything before i use the black so i can you know correct as you see right here um, this one was a little closer, like a couple centimeters. Um, and this one, I pretty much what I did was I put this one on, I it uh, how I wanted it, and then what I did is I took this one and then I matched it over here. And, and there you go. So this is as close as, as possible as I can with, um, you know, it's never going to be like exactly 100% perfect, but it's something you know I measure here to here and then I measure here to here I try to measure here to there I try to measure here to here there's 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 a body line right here you guys see right here it's like a little body line so I try to measure from that point to that point and we even went from like here all the way to like over here so 
try to make make sure that it's like the same and maybe hopefully I get it right you know because once I cut that's it there's no going back so right now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get some food because it's really early in the morning I gotta go work and I gotta leave for work in an hour so I don't think I'm gonna get this done today I'm probably gonna have to get it done tomorrow uh, but hopefully I, I just want to cut it today um, and have it ready for tomorrow to so get it installed, you know, do the holes and stuff like that. Uh, I'm just going to get some food and then we'll go to cutting, you know, before, you know, I got to think, you know, I got to make, prepare myself mentally before I start hacking the hood up. Okay, I took my little uh, breakfast break and um, car's ready to get cut, drill, everything. I do got to say I'm extremely nervous right now like my you know you know you you got that little gut feeling or you know a little little sensation in your gut I am I am a little nervous but this is what I've done so I've covered my uh, engine bay with this uh, you know furniture cloth thing and then I also put these uh, the little cargo tray rubber thing in there just to make sure that I don't you know cut through it looking at the underneath the uh, the hood right this is the this is gonna be one part of it but I'm gonna have to cut some part of the shell out so I can actually get it nice and flush with the uh, with the hood um, what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna drill holes in each corner so when I do my cuts um, it'll be you know when I, as soon as I get to like the little corner it actually cuts without having to like you know how to having to round anything so I'm gonna drill holes here first so I'm gonna use a small bit and then I'm gonna use a bigger bit try to get it to like right there to the little corners and then we're good to go all right so the uh, hood is cut it's not entirely perfect. Um, it's kind of hard to, you know, cut the um, cut the hood. But uh, let me show you real quick. So I've cut the hood, and I've already made the holes for the um, for the vents. Uh, you you can see that it's not perfectly straight, but I have an idea to cover those up. See a lot of the hood vents out there, um, they go like over the hood, uh, but I am installing mine under the hood. If I was installing mine over the hood, it, the lines really won't matter because everything will be covered. So if I would take my hood vents and I just put them on top like this, right, you'll see that it covers, you know, the line of course, but I am not because I am going underneath the uh, the hood. So right now I have a couple of ideas to... Um, get this pretty uh, this is the other side it's um it was a little worse than this but I got it better you know a little bit you know shaving it down a little bit uh, I messed up right there I might have went a little bit too deep and then kind of cut over my line but um, um, I'll do something right now I have an idea to how to get this done and um, uh, yeah let's see um you guys ready done all right so the uh, hood vents are uh, installed and let me show you what I've done it's um this little trim piece that goes on the uh, on like the doors that you can buy on AutoZone and stuff like that I bought this and I uh, wrapped it around uh, it's kind of hard because it doesn't like to bend on like the corners like that too sharp uh, so it kind of starts lifting up it doesn't want to go in there so I had to kind of you know put a little bit more of what it fit and then kind of like um, force it in there uh, also here uh, the bolts were too close so I had to kind of like cut a little bit over here here messed up a little bit um, everything's fine here it's just that this part was lifted way too high um, it's like lifted because of the bend and then I try to cut it to see if it falls down but that's just there um, that's something that I'll um, try to fix for something sometime later but right now it's um, installed here everything's nice and tight in there uh, and everything is there 
so you guys see it from far from a little lower so hood vents are in um i wish that they actually made hood vents for our cars i know uh, there is a uh, one brand that have hood vents that they sell hood vents out there um but it's too small for what I think it is. And then there's other ones that go on top. This ones could go on top, but I just didn't want to put it on top. I think underneath kind of looks cooler that way. Um, but putting it on top, it does cover the, uh, you know, covers the, like the whole thing. So it looks perfectly, you know, straight and stuff like that. Uh, I am actually waiting for a hood that is actually carbon fiber that they're making and that, um, it's gonna have a reverse um, scoop and it also has vents there so this is just kind of temporary till the guy that is uh, fabricating it um, is completely done he's 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 been um, working on it for over a year he has a prototype but he has like a regular prototype uh, with the hood scoop on it but um, he'll be making the same one with a reverse scoop so I'm kind of waiting on that and um, and get that hood so uh, this is just temporary because I'm trying to get extract all that heat from the engine bay and hopefully I don't overheat so let's recap real quick of uh, what we've done for this video um, first we did is uh, cut the bumper out make sure that that uh, intercooler has uh, more airflow in here uh, so like the bumper was till here we cut this whole piece so actually air comes in there We also delayed the AC with the AC condenser and the NC compressor uh, a little bit of a little bit of less weight At least with the condenser out of the way Airflow will go more into the radiator also with the radiator we put um, Distilled water with a little bit of water water to make sure that uh, hopefully we get some cooler temps also, um, while I was uh, searching for like, um, you know, learning more about aerodynamics and stuff like that, I learned a little thing, um, uh, one of the little things, it's like you want to force air into the uh, intercooler. What I wanted to do something like a whole box to kind of cover this whole thing, right? And then just force the whole air into this intercooler right here, right? Also into the radiator, um, kind of, this is going to be for some time sometime later i'm going to have like blocks like uh, i'm going to block like the sides to kind of like make sure that the air doesn't go to the sides and go straight into the intercooler here i want to show you guys something right here if you guys could see this little plastic right here i had that plastic off um at the beginning of this year i took it off just because you know oh it's plastic i'm going to have the you know the splitter stuff like that but i believe that by taking that plastic off right when the air hit the intercooler and start going down, all the air lost got lost underneath the car, or you know, in between the intercooler radiator and the splitter. Now with this plastic here, right, the plastic goes into the frame right there and it's kind of blocking everything. With the plastic gear, when the air hits right here and tries to go down, the plastic is right here and it's gonna force all the air to stay in this area and then it's gonna go into the uh, intercooler and the radiator so that's that's my hope that's i hope that with this plastic on it actually works and i hope so too also of course the last thing we did was the hood vents or the hood louvers whatever you want to call it so hopefully when the air pushes in cold air hot air comes and you know goes into the into uh, the engine bay and hopefully with this here all the hot air comes out of the uh, hood vents so hopefully that helps with extracting the heat um, I would like to put like more hood vents all everywhere but that's just for now this is kind of like a test kind of thing um, hopefully all this stuff that I've done for this whole video hopefully works for uh, Road Atlanta in actually in the end of this week so with the hood vents uh, it, it, it takes some kind of courage to kind of cut the hood and once you go once you start cutting that that's it there's no really going back I'm not a hundred percent happy with it because I wish that 
uh, my cuts were like perfect and um, and that little rubber thing I, I wish that actually that little rubber thing was more kind of flexible in the corners that it um you know it, it kind of hug the uh, the hood a little better maybe I'll just go um, somewhere and find some kind of rubber that is a little bit more flexible in the corners and actually it's um better than that one but I'll search on the way and then hopefully I can get something a little bit cleaner than that um, this should be something out there um, that is better and with this I'm gonna call it uh, the end of the video because um, I am in uh, time crunch right after I finish I'm done here I'm going to be working on the splitter yep I'm gonna be building the splitter so please if you haven't be if you're not a subscriber just subscribe right now and wait for the next video that is going to be building my splitter and hopefully I got some I'm gonna build my splitter the same way I've built my old splitter but uh, the way I want to mount it is a little little just a little bit different and uh, hopefully um, that I can you know quick release I'm trying to do some quick releases um, that work better than you know unbolting the everything like because I had to bolt up in six different areas six one two yep six different areas so um yeah that's it um thanks for watching make sure you give me a thumbs up if you like this video and subscribe if you're not a subscriber and i'll see you on the next one